can't see. It's dark in here. All right, there we go. What's up, guys? Over the last month or so, I've been watching the news footage of the firefighters in LA that have been working to put out these fires, and I have got to say that these people are goddamn heroes. In this video, I really wanted to try and pay tribute to the firemen that are out there putting their life on the line every day. So for this video, I really wanted to try and simulate the stuff that the firemen have been doing, specifically dropping fire retardant. I think that that's super badass. So in this video, we're going to be dropping some fire retardant, playing with some water balloons, and uh, maybe dropping some pair of jumpers just to kind of play around. Oh, and one more thing. Don't do any of the dumb shit that you're going to see us do in this video at home. This is just us out playing around. We are professionals. Well, we're, we're not professionals at all, but you still shouldn't be doing this at home because we shouldn't be doing it either. Anyways, why don't we go ahead and get started? Since I already had the plane built, the only thing I needed to figure out for this project was how to make the fire retardant. I found this colored powder recipe on Google and I figured that would probably work. To do this, I just mixed cornstarch, water, and a shitload of food coloring together in a mixer. I then let it dry out for a few days, and then once it had totally dried, I then blended it up to make it into a fine powder. Will it blend? That is the question. We are here at the JT Engineering Test Facility, the Heber Valley Wingnuts RC Club. Today we're going to be dropping fire retardant and some water balloons from this nifty little foam built plane I have. If you want to build this plane, I got the link in the description for that. So we've got water balloons that we're going to be hooking onto our wings drops, maybe dropping some out of the aft compartment, depending on if the CG works. And the fire retardant, of course, I'm really excited to see if this works. So why don't we go ahead and get started? Let's get a fire start. Oh, shit. DJ, did we, did we bring matches? We forgot the matches! Oh no, what are we gonna do? Did someone call for the fire department? Safety's up, bitches! You gotta set the pan on fire. What? Hit the pan. Oh, god damn it. Oh, oh. There we go. <laughs> that might take a couple shots. The beacons are lit! Gondor calls for aid! <laughs> Hey, it's me. Just really quick, I want to address something. Uh, first off, we're playing with a flamethrower, so you probably shouldn't do that. Second off, I know that there's going to be a lot of people in the comments that are like, Hey, this video is supposed to be about putting out fires, not starting them. Look, me f***ing around in my backyard with six inches of snow on the ground isn't going to start a fire. And the clips you're going to see a little bit later in this video, we're in a gravel parking lot with no burnable foliage within a 150 foot radius. So, as I like to say, if you're going to be stupid, be smart about it. There was almost zero fire danger. Also, this is another point that I want to bring up. I didn't build this flamethrower, so where did I get it? F***ing <laughs> Ace Hardware. Did you know that you can buy a flamethrower at Ace Hardware? I went there to pick up stuff for this video, and on the top rack, I saw this beautiful flamethrower, and I knew that I had to have it. I'm not saying you should buy one, but if you want to, Apparently, you can buy one at Ace Hardware. Let me hear it, guys. USA, USA. USA, 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 USA. Okay, now that my rant is over, we can finally get started. We put one container of the homemade fire retardant in the aft compartment of the aircraft, and we set her into the air to see if she would fly. I predict a massive line of retardant along the runway during the takeoff roll. Actually, that's probably valid. The stage was set, and it was time to see if we could hit a target with our Fire Bomber RC airplane. You can see from this clip that as soon as the plane gets into the air, it's super unstable. Then all of a sudden, the plane just pitches up, and it came crashing right into the ground. I later discovered this was because the batteries had come loose that were in the nose of the aircraft, pushing the CG very far aft, making the plane basically unflyable. I'm a little defeated right now. The JT Engineering flight program is not going well. We only have one aileron on the bomber working. One of my wheels fell off. We've still got a lot of fire retardant, so we're gonna try and push through it. I'm hoping to get at least three more flights out of it so we can drop all the retardant. And I would really like to drop some parachute dudes and some hot air, or hot air balloons, some water balloons. So we'll see how that goes. This is a mess. Needless to say, we decided to press on with the video. With one aileron and the wheel re-hot glued to the airplane, we were ready to go for our second test flight. All right, you ready? Move Coming over. in for the drop! Dropping! Oh, that was pretty sick, dude! <laughs> dude, this plane is not having a good time. It, it did not seem to be. Coming in for a landing. 
One of my wheels came off! <laughs> With our first successful firefighting flight, we reloaded the airplane and sent her back up for another mission. At this point, this plane was barely flying. We only had one aileron, the props were super unbalanced, and the weight of the fire retardant pushed this already tail-heavy airplane into an unstable flight CG. But we weren't going to give up until we accomplished what we came here to do, and put out some fires. Okay, I'm gonna land into the wind this way. Okay. This is the last flight of the fire retardant. We have made a mess, which is fine, we'll sweep it up. But this one, I changed the target. We put it in the middle of the runway because I would like to see if I actually hit the target and it's kind of hard in the gravel. This plane is barely flying at this point so we'll see if it comes back but if it doesn't we'll get some sweet onboard footage of that am i right deej hell yeah brother. hell yeah one aileron <laughs> coming around <laughs> With the plane in the air, we lined up and hoped for the best with our last drop. Yeah! <laughs> that was f***ing sick! <laughs> Alright, now if I can make a landing. So far, three out of three landings, the wheels come off. Yeah! The wheels stayed all oh, kind of. Success! Our last drop! Look at that! There are like four specks of fire retardant in the pan. Do we call that a hit? We call that a win! No, no, here's the thing. is The, the fire retardant is, cut, is right here, right? So let's just say that the fire is moving that way. We, we succeeded. We succeeded. The state of Utah is safe from the JT Engineering model airplane thing. The state of Utah is safe from JT Engineering, at least for today. Mostly because we put the flame flamethrower away. We did experiment with dropping water balloons from the plane. The wing drops didn't work at all. In this clip, I had a balloon break right after takeoff. This caused significantly more drag and weight on one wing, making it roll violently to the left and going straight into the ground. The parachute jumpers were pretty fun though. It was hard to film these since they were so small, but we did have a blast filming this video and just messing around. The air to air work DJ did on this video was absolutely incredible, especially since filming something flying through the air this small is pretty hard. Plus, DJ is just way cooler than I am. He's definitely a grade A friend. Thanks DJ. <laughs> Congratulations, everybody. That's been an episode. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more firefighting. And until next time, stay sleazy.